Hi, it's Gavin again here from G-Sport Cars. Uh, just another edition of these uh, new video blogs I'm doing. I have here Ryan's EP3 Type R. We've done quite a bit of work to Ryan's car uh, over the past while. Initially came in, got a Honda K Pro, uh, got the Tegawa carbon air box. Didn't have the supercharger at this stage and the car made I think the guts of 255 horsepower, something like that, uh, in here in the dyno. Um, ran since had the supercharger fitted and changed the pulley as well to up the boost. And now he wants to go to the next step. So we want to uh, get some cooling for the air because these chargers can run the air quite hot. So you can see Ran set up with the Jackson charger. The Tegawa carbon intake, which has always got very, very good results, is the, the Group M re replica. We have at the minute, I think, RC650 injectors in there from memory. And the Jackson racing charger bolted straight on to the Jackson inlet manifold. Uh, K-tuned coolant housing, you can just about see in there. So the problem with this setup is that you can only run so much boost and then you find that the air heats up so much that you run serious risk of detonation, uh, which isn't good. So to solve that, Ran has purchased this Merc Racing um, custom inlet manifold delivered over from the States. And basically with an adapter plate that we're going to make in-house. The adapter plate bolts on here, on the top, and the charger then, because this is designed for uh, a different charger. I think M62 this is designed for, so we put, bolt the adapter plate on here, and then Rand's Jackson charger will bolt on top of the adapter plate. And we have these two ports. This port here is the outlet for the charger. Sorry, I tell a lie. This port is the outlet for the charger, which will run down on custom made pipework into an intercooler and back up into this port, which then flows in underneath here and into the inlet. So that allows us to run an intercooler for cooled air, which means we can run a bit higher boost and of course then make a bit higher horsepower. So I'm just about to start stripping this car now, we're going to test fit the inlet manifold here um, also going to test fit the charger to the top of the inlet manifold so we can get a custom plate made up to fit the charger in its perfect position. So um, I'll keep you guys posted on the progress and of course we'll be making a custom intercooler setup for this as well. Um, we'll look at that and we'll see how we're going to get around that too. And of course then after that it will be put on the dyno and retuned for higher horsepower using a bigger crank pulley. The reason being we already have quite a small charger pulley on here so if we go much smaller we're going to run the risk of belt slip and stuff like that. So we're going to compensate that and get a little bit more boost by using a, a bigger crank pulley instead. Uh, so yeah keep, a, keep an eye out and we'll be back to you with some more videos.